10 a.m. in the morning. And I would love to just walk through my little container garden here and share with you guys what I'm working on right now. I'll share with you some of the things that are growing and some of the things that are not. I'm over here in my leaf green stock vertical garden. I am slowly transitioning this over to a fall garden and so I've cut out a lot of cucumbers and basil to make room for what I plan to um, put in there this weekend and that'll be spinach seeds. Um, I'm keeping the nasturtiums because they're so pretty right now and they love the cooler temperatures though when we get that first frost they will die so they will not survive the first frost but really 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 pretty um, I do have some lettuce here and I have some dill that's doing fine you can see here where I um, clipped out some basil I have some fennel here that's just starting to bulb up I have some fennel over here which is ready to be harvested so I'll probably use that this weekend um, most likely with some potatoes. I'll just roast it with some potatoes. I love that anise flavor. Um, so all of these empty pockets that you see, I'm going to plant spinach seeds in. So down here, I did leave in one cucumber plant because it has about three cucumbers on it. I don't know, you can see, probably see one there. I get over here, you'll see another one or two. So I'm just going to leave that in there for now. scallions up here. I planted those about a month ago. Okay, Once they get to growing, they take off, but sometimes they're very slow to start. So don't get discouraged if you've planted scallions and they didn't just take off right away. They will when the temperatures, the air temperatures, hit that sweet spot. And that's usually in the early spring, in the fall where I live. Um, that's when they really start to actively grow. The summer heat will slow them down. Okay, I do have another basil over here. Looks like I have some more cucumbers setting right here. So this will be my project this weekend to just plant spinach and clean out um, any of the remaining pockets where I need to replant some things. Okay, so over here I just have some nasturtiums. They're kind of trailing over the deck here real pretty. Um, now here is a tarragon plant, no I'm sorry, right here is a rosemary plant and in here has reseeded some chamomile. You'll find one thing about chamomile is once you plant it just one time you will always have it because it reseeds everywhere and I certainly don't mind that so I like chamomile. And then here is some dill which reseeded in the container so instead of cleaning out that container I had, I think, um, basil growing in it. I just left it because um, I always like to see dill that has just reseeded naturally and I didn't have to do anything with it, okay? Uh, this basil's looking great. I took out my old basil. I had about three pots that were um, bolting, so I cleaned those out. This lavender looks beautiful. The thyme as well, it looks really nice. Um, the tarragon. And then right here uh, is the Valencia orange tree, which I finally got around to repotting it. This is what I picked up on a vacation this past summer from Florida. So I will keep that inside all winter and take care of it. It's gonna need a little bit of TLC, at least for the first few years. And right back here is another basil. Looking really nice. I've been using a lot of basil right now because in my square foot garden, I have tons of cherry tomatoes, so I've just really enjoyed making different salads with the basil and tomatoes. Rosemary, more rosemary, and then the chives look pretty good here. They're huge. I've never seen chive leaves um, that big around. <laughs> and then ginger. I'm having a lot of ginger starting to come up out of the soil there since I cut out the basil that was in there. I finally got around to cutting it out. This will also probably go indoors when I'll give it some attention since this is its first year growth. Okay, 
and then here are some scallions. I've not really been able to use many of those this year, only because half the time I was fighting off the aphids that were on it. So hopefully um, next year I won't have much of a problem with aphids. I haven't noticed much on them lately. So that's a great thing. I just love to have um, scallions around in the garden. And then a hydrangea. And I need to find somewhere in the yard to put that. It's doing real well, but it will not survive in a container. I only did that to try to take care of it. It was my mother. She moved in with us a few months ago. And she was given this um, because my stepfather passed away. And so I want to try to find a nice place in the yard. If you guys have any tips on the sun exposure for hydrangea, I would appreciate it. I don't know much about growing them. And I can't find really any good information online. So I just want to find out about the sun exposure, shade, etc. That kind of thing. Alrighty, and then mint. I did not get around to dividing my mint plants this year. I think I showed you guys earlier in the season that when you start to have a lot of growth around the outside of the container and there's not much in the center, that, that means you need to divide it. Probably you should have divided it before it got to that point. And of course I have not. So that's one mint there and there's another mint over here and they look very bad. And that's just because they're struggling. Um, they're just crowded in those pots, but I'll try to make sure I do that next year, okay? And then basil, made sure I, I made sure to plant a lot of basil this year. Now in the middle of this um, mint plant is a zinnia. So giving a little bit of color here to the container garden, just really pretty, I think. I have a lot of zinnias growing in my front garden this year, and I hope to maybe walk through there and show you guys the square foot garden here at some point. The tarragon, oregano, and some more tarragon. And then right here is the green stock original planter. And I planted spinach seeds in here last weekend. Um, I had already planted some scallions in here like a, about a month ago when I planted the other ones in the leaf. And so the little spinach seeds are up and growing. I love to see that. I, it's really important to get my spinach seeds in the ground right about now so they have a chance to root down before the temperatures get real cold and they'll start to go dormant. And then they'll, of course, start regrowing again in the spring of next year but I have about two months there probably January February where they're just not very happy but they don't die and so I love to grow spinach for that reason I have it for a very very long time I don't have to replant it and I just really love growing it so um, I'll leave a link in the description area of the kind I like to grow I've, ex I've experimented with so many different kinds and I've found that this particular variety Teton spinach does the best as far as slow bolting. It doesn't get the leaf curl, the yellowing tips on it. Just very disease resistant. Really, really nice spinach. Okay, and then um, some dill and scallions here. I left this basil. And I pulled out most of the other basil that I had along with I had some tomatoes in here. Just needed to make room for the spinach and that's hard to do when you have tomatoes still setting fruit um, to pull out that plant but I really wanted to make room for the spinach because I so enjoy it and it's so easy to grow in the garden and then I have arugula so the arugula is looking really nice and then this is frisee which I'm letting go to seed because that's kind of a hard seed to find and so I'm going to collect the seed from that this year okay so when I pulled out my tomatoes from the green stock, I also took out, of course, the plant supports. And I took them inside and I was going to pack them up and out crawled a little spider. <laughs> and it's the same type of spider that's been in here for probably five years. I don't know where it hides in that green stock. But um, anyway, I guess it, there's nesting in there because I looked underneath and there's little, um, little spider nest in there. So I put them back out here and I'll have to clean those out before I store them away. So, anyway, 
Anyway, the plant supports work great. I would highly recommend those, especially for your heavier fruits like tomatoes, cucumbers, that kind of thing. Now I'll show you one other project I'm working on. All right, and that's over here and just a small wading pool that I keep up here. These are just a couple of containers where I had some basil growing and so I cut it out. Now I'm going to dump out the soil, pull out the roots. I'll put a little more compost in here and then I'll probably actually just plant some more spinach. I can't have enough spinach, so, and it's really easy to put spinach up if you grow too much. Um, so I'm just gonna plant it everywhere this year. So that's my little project that I'm working on as far as cleaning up the container garden. It was really, really a mess. Um, last weekend I worked almost the entire day out here, which was a beautiful day, and I love to do that anyway, so it really wasn't work to me. But anyway, so there you go. There is my container garden. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down below the video, and I will be more than happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a beautiful day.